What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with even more Into the Flames gameplay. We're going to continue our look at the new pumping update features for today's video. We're going to have pumping working on all the engines and tankers and we have a new fourth style engine to look at, a European style. So you definitely want to catch this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started. Uh, that's going to be the big scrap. Yeah, that's the scrap yard down there. Uh, let's see, we're going to need to get uh, tanker two in as well. Let's do that. Let's go to station two, spawn truck, tanker two. All right, here we go. We got tanker two spawned in. The cool thing about tanker two is that he's going to have discharges for five large diameter hoses coming off of him. He's going to have, let's see, I think he's going to have uh, two on this side, on the passenger side, and three on the rear. And I don't think he's going to have any on this side. No, he doesn't. Just the small on that one on the driver's side. So either way, five is a lot. Now what we're going to do is take him down there to the fire and we're going to use him to uh, supply a lot of equipment. Let's get lights, headlights. We're not going to worry about the siren. We're just going to drive down there silent. This is literally around the corner. So that's one thing I would love to see in the game is a siren update. I would like to see uh, I would like to see something more uh, more like some realistic sirens or something like that, or users the ability to uh, add their own sirens in somehow. No, there's been some discussion about mods and, mo and modding and things of that nature. So, uh, let's get this guy parked right here. Let's go ahead and hop out. Let's hit tab. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Tab. Um, emergencies. Let's take the call. We're assigned to it now. Now, there's a hydrant down by the station at station two. So, what we're going to do is, um, I think, jump on engine one. Said I have to get the door open, uh, L and H. He doesn't have much to do. He's got an easy job, really super easy job to uh, go over here and supply. We're going to boost off this hydrant. This should be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good hydrant, and we're going to boost off of it down to the uh, to the tanker. So, pop out of that. Uh, this is engine two, though it is engine style one. So I've seen some. Uh, I've had a few comments about it. Like sometimes I call this engine one all the time. I call it engine one, even though it's actually number two. I call it engine one, and the reason I do that is because if you go into uh, fire stations, let's say, let's go to uh, station three. Let's say we're going to spawn a truck in. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, four styles of engines that you can spawn in. Uh, the one we currently have is engine style one, though it's number two for station two. So like 90% of the time when I refer to this uh, engine, you know, when I refer to the engines, I'm referring to like the uh, model style of engine, not the actual number. All right, so now that that's cleared up, let's exit out of this. And let's get our uh, boost valve, which is also called the Humat. The uh, dev was kind enough to leave a comment on my video the other day. It says, I actually called the Humat. So I just call it a boost valve, but uh, it's Humat. So really cool. I actually looked that up on the internet yesterday. A uh, really neat uh, feature. Let's go get our supply line. Go to connections, uh, driver intake. And we'll connect you up. Let's get our hydrant wrench. We'll get him going. Tools, hydrant wrench. And we'll hit E. Yeah, I absolutely love this, guys. This update is going to be so amazing. I love the logistics and the setup. I, I could literally, I could just focus on this and I would be happy. I wouldn't even have to put water on the fire. Like, I, I love this kind of stuff. Like I said, it just, I love how involved it gets and uh, all the different features and stuff like that. So we got, uh, let's do another large diameter discharge on this side so we can boost. Let's do five. Uh, let's exit out. We'll bring him around. And we should be able to connect it this way. There we go. Nice. All right, let's go back over here to the pump panel. Let's go to first person mode. Hit V. And uh, let's see, let's hit uh, E to pull up the pump panel. Go to that. And we'll go tank pump. I think that's what they said. I had someone leave a comment about that, uh, about which one you should use. It's, it's hard for me to remember, guys. Y'all have to bear with me for a little bit until I get this figured out. All right, yeah, I went back and double checked that comment. It is tank to pump, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, let's see, we're on discharge five. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll pull him as well. Let's pull him and let's do tank to pump. Let's pull. 
All right, I think we're good with that. Go ahead and increase this a little bit. I think we could just go ahead and max them out, honestly. Like, we just go, go uh, max throttle. Pump discharge, 400. Okay. So, I guess that's 400 on the hydrants. It confuses me a little bit when I do um, when I do tank the pump. I'll be honest. It confuses me just a tad. All right. So, uh, we've got him set up. He's boosted. Um, now, we need to run... Um, we need to run to the inlet on this hydrant here, so the intake. So, uh, I was going to try laying it in with the tanker, but um, yeah, that, it gets a little complicated with that valve, like because then we'd have to drive it back. Like he was first on scene, and now we got to drive him back. So what we're going to do is probably I don't know. We'll probably skip that part. You won't see how I do that. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. It just may magically appear. There we go. All right, let's hop in the tanker. Yeah, I think we're going to we're just going to drive back. I I don't think that would be completely legit, but uh, it'll work out for our purposes. We'll uh, we'll drive back. We'll connect in, and then uh, we'll lay our supply up to here. I think that's how we're going to do it. We're we're uh, we're getting into areas that Spur is unsure of like with all the uh, pumping features and the connections and different things that we have now it's like uh, uncharted waters we're in uncharted waters for Spur so that's kind of the cool part about it all right let's get back here come on all right let's hop out let's grab connections let's go uh, driver intake uh, exit out of you like I said, it's not going to be totally, totally legit, but you know what? It works for our purposes, and that's what we need it to do, so. All right, we've got that taken care of. Now let's drive back. I don't know why the van is freaking out in the intersection here. We'll go around them. Cool thing is the AI will not drive over your uh, supply lines. They do a better job than I do because I drive over them all the time. Like, I'm not worried about it. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop this guy right here now. And let's hop out. Let's look at our pump. Let's see. Pump panel. Uh, tank to pump. Let's pull him all the way. Let's increase our RPMs. Let's just go max for now. We'll go max. And we're going to need some more equipment. All right, because we're going to use this guy to uh, supply everyone else. So we're going to need some more equipment. Let's get the European style engine. Let's grab him uh, real fast. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll grab him at station three. Let's go. We'll get rid of the Quint. We know what the Quint's all about. He should have all the uh, pumping features. We're not going to worry about that. Let's go um, spawn truck. Engine four. And he should be there. Let's teleport over to it. Uh, engine three. I don't know why engine three is on there. It says engine three. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. I remember the dev told me that's uh, something he needs to fix. Never mind. Something he needs to fix. He's going to take care of. So disregard that. All blue lights. I like that. There we go. We'll do that siren. All right, let's head to uh, let's head to the scene. We'll use this guy. I know uh, there's going to be a lot of people happy. There's been people asking about European style equipment in game. So hopefully they'll enjoy this. Pretty cool. Nice, nice. Also, I want to take a minute to thank the dev uh, from Into the Flames for uh, allowing me to take a look at this stuff. I've gotten uh, a lot of exclusive looks. I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. And uh, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate appreciate him uh, supporting the channel and uh, let me take a peek at this stuff and let you guys look at it in turn, which is really cool. All right. Um, now that we've got him here, let's see. What are we going to do? Uh, let's put you right here. Let's hop out. Um, how can we do this? All right. We need to do the intake from this guy. European style engines is something I am completely like, I have no clue. I have zero clue, uh, no intake on this side. Okay, so intake's gonna be on the side, maybe. Uh, that's accessing equipment. Where is the intake? We need the intake. Here we go. 
Host connections. Uh, driver intake. There we go. Nice. All right. Now we know. Um, where could we do? I think we could do it on this side right here, right? Let's see. What? Uh, uh, so it's going to be a small. Yeah, there's no large diameter. Okay. Let's go to the rear here. And I guess we'll go to three. Three's in the middle. All right. That'll work for me. Three. So we need to remember that. All right. Let's go back to the pump. Uh, pump panel, let's see, discharge three, right? And let's pull him. Nice, we got 1,250. Nice, 1,250 coming out. Right? It, it, it really kind of confuses me. Like I said, this kind of confuses me a little bit. Let's see, let's uh, decrease this, and this should lower our, yeah, it's lowering our discharge. So the question is, what does he have coming in from the other is what I want to know. Um, we could go tank the pump, right? Uh, that's what we're already on, yeah. Let's see tank fill. Tank fill. Uh, he's got 1,070 coming in, okay. And that's messing with the other one. Yeah, that's really kind of odd. I'm not sure how this works out. All right, let's pull this guy all the way. He's good. All right, so we should have water on this guy, right? Oops, it's gonna be on the back spur, on the rear. Uh, let's see. Pump panel, let's do tank fill on this just so we can see. We got coming in, we got anything coming in? It doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah, we do, 1250. Okay, we got 1250 coming in. All right, let's go uh, tank fill. Let's push you back in. And let's go tank the pump. There we go. All right. All right, uh, more equipment. We need more stuff here. We've, we've got a good uh, start on all our uh, supply lines and stuff like that. So let's, um, I think, bring a ladder maybe. Let's bring some ladders. All right, here we go. We're uh, arriving on scene with ladder three. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run all over our spot line, but that'd be all right. Just disregard that. Just completely disregard that, guys. <laughs> we're gonna run all over it. It'll be fine. All right, let's hop out. Let's get this guy set up. Uh, let's see. Use ladder uh, outriggers. Let's get that going. Nice. Hopefully the ground's not too soft right here. And we won't get stuck. We can't literally get stuck, but seen that. I saw that on a uh, New York Fire Department video. They were responding to a wildfire, grass fire, or something, and uh, wound up getting stuck. All right, so we're good with that. Uh, let's operate the ladder. Get it going. We're going to use some uh, AI suppression as well. We're going to do all the things today. All right, so I can't seem to get the ladder uh, connected to a supply. I'm wondering if that hasn't been implemented yet. It, it may very well not be in the game, but uh, I can't do it. Like I said, we can go to the connection panel here. And there's nothing on it, so uh, disregard that. Disregard the ladder. We're going to use it for an aerial view of the site, and uh, we'll just do hand lines, I guess. All right, let's get uh, let's get some air going. Put a gear air pack. Nice. All right, we got that, and it looks like it's only on this side of the scrapyard. So we're good with that at least. We're good with that. Disappointed we couldn't get the ladder going, but that's all right. And I'm sure it will be in due time. Uh, definitely when you guys see it. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to emergencies. Let's establish command. Let's upgrade the alarm. Let's do, um, I guess a two alarm, second alarm assignments. Uh, exit out of that. Exit out of you and we'll hit end and go to drone camera mode. There we go. There's a little drone. What do we got here? All right. Yeah. Uh, looks like 
three piles of scrap cars. Fully involved. Uh, we could bring a lot more stuff for this. We definitely could. We could bring some hazmat stuff. I mean, there could be all kind of stuff in a scrapyard. Batteries and uh, fuel and oil and everything else. So, I don't think we're going to get involved with that today, though. We'll just go with what we got. Uh, let's do AI menu. Let's do uh, let's do primary search. We're going to let them go through and uh, just see. Just make sure. More likely not, but we're going to uh, have them search the scene. Uh, let's do RIT. Absolutely do RIT. And you, you never know, right? You never know. Something may happen, you need RIT. So let's do that. And let's get some fire suppression going. Let's put them down here on this end. Uh, let's do another one too. Try to keep it from spreading. Alright, so there we go. Exit. Now, I don't think... At least I'm not sure. I, d I don't think they use anything off your engine like your supply. I think that's purely uh, player involved. So let's pull. Let's go to connections and let's pull uh, a small a hand line. Let's do. Um, uh, we'll do a combination off discharge one. We'll do that. And we should be, should be good to go here. We'll bring him down here. All right, let's drop you down. Let's go back to the pump. Uh, pump panel, uh, discharge one. Uh, actually, let's go back in first person mode so we can see. Let's back it off a little bit there, Spur. There we go. Now back to it. Pump panel, discharge one. Let's pull it. And we only have 50, really. That's because of, uh, okay, yeah. We need to increase this. Go to Spurs Magic Number 300. If you don't know, just go to 300. It's like the default number. Spurs default. Alright, there we go. 120. I think uh, 150. We'll do 150. Hopefully that'll be good. Oh, it's already out of... It's already under control. Before we could even finish getting the pump. You know what? We're going to spray some water on it too real fast. We'll do this and then uh, we'll grab another fire. Either way, it was kind of cool to go through the setup, especially off the tanker. I really, you know, I always said tanker one was my favorite, but uh, I kind of dig uh, tanker two. Kind of reminds me of a satellite truck a little bit because you can uh, you can feed off of it so much, right? I keep saying satellite because I want to see one one of these days. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool that you could feed off of it like that. I mean, we could have gone to the ladder. We could have gone to the other one. Uh, we could have gone to a whole bunch of stuff. All right, we're going to end this call and uh, we'll start another one and uh, make a response. All right, we're back on station two. Uh, let's find another fire. Let's get something going. Uh, I currently have random calls off, but we'll find something down here around station two. Let's see. What could we do? What could we do? Uh, let's do Nottingham Farms. We haven't done that in a long time. Let's pull one of these. There it goes. Structure fire at Nottingham Farm. We'll go ahead and take that call. There we go. Alright, exit out of you. Alright, let's take uh, take her two. We'll go with him. We're definitely going to need to uh, set up a pool or something for that. Um, let's see. Where's that going to be at? Yeah, there is no hydrants anywhere near that. And our hydrant by station two is dead currently. You can see it's black on the map there. So that means it is no longer working. So we would have to go all the way south of here to the next intersection. Or we could draft out of that pond. I don't know about drafting right now, now guys. I, I haven't played around with that. I haven't tested it. So I'm not sure. I mean, it's supposed to work and I'm sure it does. I just don't know how to, you know, go about it. So but hopefully we won't have to draft. We may just relay. Honestly, we may just relay water. I would I would totally be okay with relaying water. I really like that. Like I enjoy that kind of stuff. 
I said, I am all about the logistics. Man, this thing wants to just lean in them, in them turns and curves. Man. I always heard fire trucks are a little top heavy, but man, this one's really bad. All right, let's kill that mess. We don't need that. Spur would not make a good firefighter because of the sirens. I'd be like, we don't need no siren right now. Cut it off. Um... Uh, there's people all the time tell me, you need to pin that thing. Do more siren. All right, it's going to be a house. Okay. House fire. Yeah, we haven't done this one in forever. This has been a long time. All right, let's get him here. Let's bring, uh, let's bring engine one as well. We'll bring him. All right, let's jump on him. Engine one. Uh, it won't let me because I'm in this engine. You can't do that, Spur. It's a no-no. All right, let's try it again. All right, don't do like Spur. Don't try to teleport from the cab. You can't do that. You have to be out. There we go. This one doesn't lean into it as much as the tanker does, man. That tanker, woof. He's kind of scary a little bit. back and then back to the right I mean, we could totally you know we could fight that fire off the tanker he does have a uh, connection for a small diameter let's kill that so I mean we absolutely could do that that wouldn't be a problem all right, let's get this guy here. Uh, how do we want to do this? All right, let's do uh, let's do our intake. Let's do uh, driver intake, and we'll go to discharge on this bad boy. Uh, discharge three. There we go. Nice, nice. All right, so we should have some water, right? Let's go to pump panel. Uh, discharge three. Let's pull that. And let's do, uh, I don't see any water coming off. Why is the water not coming off? Maybe we need to pull it with the uh, other engine. Let's see, let's grab, uh, let's grab a small discharge combination. Pull him off, we'll drop him down right here. Yeah, I do not have something right. Like this line isn't pressurized, I don't know why. He should be. Pump panel. If we do this, yeah, he's all the way out. Thank the pump. Do we need to do that? He's out too, yeah. All right, now we got it. Okay, I see. Now we've got it. We've got 300 on that. So we should be getting something on this guy as well, right? Pump crawl is at 300. Let's hit E. Pump panel. Tank the pump. Let's pull you. Yeah, I'm not. All right. He Well, he was already filled. Never mind. I was going to say, oh, he's topped off. He's good. But he was already filled up. So. Pump panel. Let's do discharge one. Pull him. Let's try. Let's try something else. Let's pull. Uh. Thank Phil. Yeah, so we are getting 300 from the other. Okay. Pump oh, discharge 150. I think uh, maybe someone left a comment on a video and said that they pretty much left Tank Phil open all the time. Maybe I'm completely wrong on that. Uh, I get so many comments. It's hard for me to like. It's hard for me to keep it straight. And especially when you get into the pumping stuff. Like I do remember people saying uh, Tank Pump was good. But uh, I, I want to say one of them was left open all the time, or they said that their fire department left it open all the time. I want to say that was maybe tank fill, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, pump intake is 300. Uh, discharge is 150. Okay, so if we go back to this guy, we can ramp that up. We can ramp up the... Uh, 
the output yeah with the uh with this so we could really we could go to 600 if we wanted to there we go all right discharge three's got 600 going out so all right i want to say this is what 3,000 gallon tank maybe Either way, I think we're good. Let's get some air going. Get air pack. This is so fun, guys. I'm telling you, I could literally mess around with this all day long. I really just could. We're uh, we're slowly but f you know surely figuring it out. All right, let's get down. We're not gonna use AI because they hog all the fire. They hog <laughs> they hog all the fires. Uh, we want some fires to put out too, guys, so we're going to do this on our own. A bunch of fire hogs. They don't let anyone else have any fun. Oh, we got some tanks in here too. Nice. Oh, and we got a victim. No. Nah, we'll probably just leave him too. <laughs> I've done that on the past two fires. We'll take him out. We'll give him some CPRs and we'll send him on his way. He'll be all right. All right, let's see. He left his hard hat over there on the ground too, dude. That's why you, <laughs> that's why you're in trouble in here. You weren't wearing your hard hat. All right, come on. No, we're not going to interact with him. We don't need to. Yeah, we'll get this uh, knocked out. We'll take him outside, see if we can get him resuscitated, and then we're gonna call it a day, guys. That'd be it. I'm being burned somehow. I don't know. We're being burned. This radiant heat's getting us. Nice. There we go. Question for you real life firefighters, because you know I'm, I'm all the time asking. Uh, if you have to set your headline down, um, can you set it down inside the building its own fire? Or uh, like, do you have to take it back out? I, I don't know. I would think it'd be kind of dicey to just lay it down in the building that's burning. I mean, who am I to know? I, I don't know. This seems like it would be dicey if something were to happen to it, you know? All right, let's carry victim. I mean, I guess you could if you set it down right beside you. I'm talking about more like uh, setting it down unattended. All right, let's uh, let's drop this guy right here. Let's get our mask off. We'll get our medical bag. Tools, uh, where you at? I think it's in here. I think it's under gear, right? Yeah. Medical bag. All right, let's see what we got. Interact with victim. Let's uh, assess the patient. Uh, we can't. I don't know why we can't. Sir, can you hear me? What's going on? Yeah, we got the medical bag. It just won't let us... Uh, won't let us do it. Maybe we need to bring an ambulance. Maybe we'll do that real fast. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I guess we are. All right, let's uh, get an ambulance. All right, we're finally here with the ambulance. We're rolling through those bumps, man. All right, uh... All right, we'll pull this guy up here. Let's hop out. And let's get the stretcher going. This may not work for this. I, I'm not really sure, guys. I'm not sure on this. He may just be SOL. Yeah, it's just not letting me... You know what? Let's take him over here by the ambulance. We'll throw him down on the ground over there. Oh, he, uh, he disappeared. Uh, well, he got up and walked off. He said he was good. It was a miraculous recovery. I, I don't know. I was carrying him over to the ambulance and, uh, he just vanished. So he got up. He said he was good to go. He was perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. All right. We're going to act like that never happened. So anyway. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the new European-style engine and uh, the new pumping features for the tankers and stuff like that. I absolutely love it. It is a blast, guys. I can't wait for you guys to check this out. 
Anyway, thank you so much for the love and support. Love all you guys, and uh, we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace!